I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 12th of January, 2023, and this is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. And today I had no idea what I was going to do about a topic. And I was like, really just kind of like, I'm just going to kind of tell about my quick busy day. And, and then, and then a perfect, perfect question came up. Uh, as someone who's new to the channel asked about uh, how they could work abroad from the United States because their employer claims that working abroad causes payroll problems, which should be really obviously a lie, but it's not obviously a lie. And there's some, and there's a possibility that the employer just knows nothing about payroll or living abroad. So let's talk about this because this is actually a really important topic that to me, as someone who's worked abroad for his, uh, most of his life, and as someone who employs people abroad, and as someone who has traveled and moved around extensively, uh, it has come to be aware to me that there's a number of concepts of what it means to live somewhere, to work somewhere, and all those things that people don't actually know, including employers, and you often end up with a lot of misinformation. I need to work on, on where I am in the sun for this. And before I go uh, too deep into this, I'm going to uh, try to find some spot where I'm not completely in weird light. Let's work on that. And I am going to, uh, at the end of the video, show a long um, time lapse So I captured going from our house in Laborio, which we no longer have, because uh, I, I actually start in the house. You can see me go out the door, lock the gate and all that, and head all the way through the entirety of Sutiava on the main road, which is Nicaragua 14 or Ruben Dario. That's coming up at the end, so you have that to look forward to. Hang out, wait for that, don't leave. But first, let's tell you this. My day, I just worked, right? Nothing to report. Okay, so the concept of where you live and where you work are interesting. When people are talking about working remotely, first of all, generally, there's, there's weird exceptions. But when we're saying, um, like, for example, I'm gonna move abroad and I wanna be a digital nomad, I'm gonna work for the United States. Okay, you work in the United States. You are paid in the United States. You're an American worker, period. End of story. Well, where do you live? That's not a factor. It has nothing to do with anything, right? You are, so uh, I'm from Texas and uh, I work for a Texas company and they pay me in Texas. It goes into a Texas bank account. It is in US dollars. I am paid in Dallas, not exactly, but in the Dallas area. And that's it. My employer doesn't need to know where I'm sitting at any given moment right? They don't care. It has nothing to do with employment or payroll or any of those things. None of those things take into account where you physically sit at all. They're not factors in you getting in your payroll, in your taxes, any of that. Okay. So that's the first thing. So when an employer says, oh, we can't, uh, we can't pay you if you live abroad, stop and say, wait, that means you can't pay me at all. Right? Period. Because the, because all they have to do is write a check, right? A normal, and we use normal payroll processors. We're not doing anything weird. We're not using some, some you know, Payoneer or Western Union. No, 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 we're using an American payroll processor. It goes into an American bank in my credit union. Okay, that's, it's that simple. And there's a bunch of, but, but no, it's that simple. Now, when people are talking about all these complications with payroll, they're not talking about uh, work abroad in digital nomad sense. They're not talking about Americans who are working from home, because that's what we're talking about, work from home right? Just, just remote work. What we're talking about in other cases is when you take someone who, for example, is a Mexican, lives in Mexico, does not have the right to work in the United States, and they want to work a job for a U.S. company. Well, that company now needs to hire outside the U.S. They're not hiring an American worker like you, the people who are asking this question. Uh, they're hiring a foreign worker. That is different. Working remote and hiring a foreign worker are two different concepts. That foreign worker would be complex to hire and pay if they're in the United States or not in the United States, if they're in their home country or not. That's the complication is hiring a foreign worker. You can still do it. That's fine. I also hire foreign workers, but there's complications with it. And I have to be aware of their jurisdictions and all kinds of things. It's a pain in the butt. But working remotely is not a pain in the butt. A lot of people confuse these two concepts and they think that when you live abroad um, and people think this themselves that you become a foreign worker you are not a foreign you're not becoming a foreign so in the example if you're if you're an american like me or the person who's asking the question and you move to nicaragua first of all moving is not a legally identified concept okay when you go to another country that's called vacation it's called travel right so when you come to nicaragua you have traveled to nicaragua there is no American concept of you living abroad. If you stay out for a really long time, you can make certain claims in your, t in your taxes 
for foreign earned income exemptions. But it still doesn't say you live abroad. It's a foreign earned income if your foreign earned income is done in a certain way. And then maybe you're going to qualify, maybe not. I have a video on that. Watch that separately. That's a different topic. But the concept of I moved somewhere does not exist for Americans. Citizenship is the country that claims you as like property of that country. You can have dual citizenship, triple citizenship, but it's rare. It does exist. But that is we're talking about American citizens generally. Residency is a separate concept from uh, citizenship and the United States doesn't care if you're the resident of somewhere else or not. The fact that somewhere else, like Nicaragua, claims or doesn't you as a resident has nothing, has, that is not of the interest of the United States or of your employer or anyone else. That is purely, purely a visa designation between you and Nicaragua or you and whatever country you're staying in, right? It has nothing to do with your income from the United States. In all these cases, you can't get a job in Nicaragua. That's a different thing. Right, that is becoming an America, a foreign worker in Nicaragua trying to get paid in Nicaragua. That's not going to happen, right? So, and that's what your employer is implying that you're trying to do. That is not. You want to continue working the job you already have. You want to continue working as an American worker, getting paid in America. You certainly don't want to get paid in Nicaragua. You're not allowed to get paid in Nicaragua. None of that's on the table, right? We're talking about an American who takes a vacation and just makes it really long, right? And that's really important. There's this. There's this emotional thing around moving. When you talk to your siblings, your, your cousins, your friends back home, where do you live? Oh, I'm living in Nicaragua. All that means is that's where you're sitting most of the time. Where you live isn't part of any of your legal status to employers or taxes. Where you, and it, oh, did you move there? Well, I mean, I'm living there. What does moving mean, right? You actually start realizing that concept, like where do you live and did you move? don't actually have strict definitions and they aren't legal. They don't mean anything specific. We use them like, oh yeah, I used, to, I used to live with my parents, but I moved to my own apartment. Well, did you somehow cut yourself off from your parents' place? Well, no, I just stopped going there every night. Did you somehow like legally make, you know, that you moved and you, you can't send mail there anymore? No, no, I can still send mail there. They may not like it, but the, it'll work, right? Well, the government doesn't see you as having moved. Now you do, at some point, you have a license, a driver's license, and you can say, well, this is my address, but it's only your mailing address, right? You can have multiple houses. You can bounce between them. The government doesn't care if you do that. In fact, they like it because you're helping the, the real estate market, right? So this idea of that I've moved and I live somewhere, you have to start realizing, wait, that's not, that's not a solid concept. And it's not something your employer ever, ever gets to know about, right? That's not their business. They care where your tax residency is. Who, to whom do they pay taxes? Into what country's um, uh, uh, bank are they making the deposits? Where are they sending your check? In what currency are they giving that check? And when you're talking about a digital nomad, when you're talking about an American worker work from home, work remote, that's a US bank, US taxes, US residency, US everything, right? You are an American to them. Where you're vacationing, whether you're there for two days or two decades, has nothing to do with anything at your employer, right? Uh, there are exceptions to that, right? Like if you're Department of Defense, you may have to not leave the, the jurisdiction of the United States, but that's not an employment problem. That is a security problem, right? It's different. Uh, from an employment standpoint, the, the length of time for your vacations is irrelevant. And that's the thing you have to understand is that to the United States government, to your employer, your time moving abroad, living abroad, all of that is classified as a vacation or travel. Right. Vacation would mean you're not currently working at that moment from an employment perspective. But to the government, vacation does not mean you're not working. It means you are traveling. But you are in all these cases, you are simply a traveling person. The speed at which you travel, the amount of time that you travel, whatever. None of that is particularly relevant unless they make a specific rule about it. So all of this is actually incredibly easy mentally once you start to realize that moving and where you live aren't actual concepts and you shouldn't be talking about them, right? Yes, talk with your parents about it. Talk to your sibling, your friends back home. Where do you live? Yeah, we all know what you mean. But when it comes to employment, we don't know what you mean, right? Those, those really simple concepts that we use with family and friends become really convoluted and misleading when we use them in an employment context. And it's easy, it's, it's, it's easy for us to see where people get confused about this because people say to us all the time, where do you live? I live in Nicaragua. Where do you work? I work from my office right, right here in Nicaragua. Oh, so you get paid in Nicaragua. No, of course not. I'm an American worker working abroad. Well, how do you get money in Nicaragua? Well, I go to the ATM and I take it out of my American bank account, right? Like there's all these like 
when you're a traveler, all these things are just really obvious. You don't have to think about it. But when it's not something you do full time, when it's not something you've ever tackled, some of this is actually a little bit confusing. And people are constantly like, well, I got to move my money to Nicaragua. No, you don't. Don't do that. Well, I got to get paid in Nicaragua. No, you don't. Don't do that. Right. Keep it simple think of it as a vacation that never ends. And actually this causes some, some problems in the other way, right? Because like we've lived in a bunch of different countries, but often my wife will be like, sometimes she'll be like, yeah, we live there. And sometimes she'll be like, well, it was just like a vacation. And I'm like, those are the same thing. It's just how long do you maintain a home to go back to while you're gone, right? Do you, and, and legally like, that doesn't matter. It's just, it's just how you call it, right? Uh, we lived abroad. We did not have some other home to go back to. That was our home. That was the place we were based. That's where we put our furniture. That's where we set up our TV. That's where I put up my laptop. That's where, you know, we parked the car and, and our entire lives were based there until we moved to the next place. That was moving. That was living in those places. And that's what you're looking to do at Nicaragua. And, and in all these cases, these are not permanent decisions. They may be decisions that you never, never change, right? You came to Nicaragua. I don't want to leave. It's fantastic, right? Trust me, I get it. Even those of you who come here for two weeks, a lot of you never leave because it's fantastic and you just didn't expect it to be, right? So you get here, you go, wait, I can stay. This can be my life. My life can be this good. All I have to do is not take the return flight home, but it's still a vacation. It was a vacation when you got here. When do you think it stopped being a vacation? It's just a vacation you stretched out forever. All your mechanisms back home stay the same. And if you think about it, when you started working from home, if for those of you who have done this, Right. One day you're going into the office. Where do you work in the office? Where do you live? Well, I, I still live at home, I guess. Well, living's not part of your employment. Right. Oh, yeah, it isn't. That's right. Only where I sat. Well, when they sent you home and you didn't have to sit in the office, it was wait. Now I simply work from not the office. It's not that you work from home. It's that you work from not the office. If you said, why well, I went down to my sister's house and I worked from there, they're not gonna be like, oh, you're not allowed to do that. Oh, we have to change your taxes status because you're at your sister's house. No, it doesn't work that way. It's just, you're not in the office. Either they're watching you and they have to provide the real estate or they're not watching you and they don't have to provide the real estate. Those are the only two statuses, the only stati that you need to have. And, and it's that simple. So the permanent vacation thing, whether you're moving to Nicaragua in, in your mind and it's a decision that you know you're never gonna change, or whether you're coming for two weeks and just gonna see when you feel like flying back, or you're coming to Nicaragua and you're going to potentially move on to Honduras or Guatemala, Mexico, Colombia, maybe Thailand in a week, in a month, in a year. Whether you think you're gonna do that and you don't do it, or you don't think you're gonna do it and you do do it, none of that matters. Because in all these cases, we're talking about working remote and you're simply not reporting to the office. The rest of it, none of it is the business of your, of your employer. Now, if you do that and you end up without internet access or you can't get power or your, your telephone doesn't work or you can't get support when you need it or you can't get back to the office when they expect you to show up to work, those are problems. But the problem is not where you were. The problem is that you didn't have that situation figured out, right? So one of the reasons we like Nicaragua is that it allows me, I can be back in the States at any point within three hours and, uh, well, you have to go to the airport, six hours and... Um, my like telephone and internet and all that work as good or better than the United States. So I don't have, I don't have the third world US problems, right? Where everything doesn't work all the time. There's like the power's out for days at a time. The internet's super slow. We don't have those problems here generally. So, so we're in much better shape. <laughs> my food is just delivered to my desk and I've got to go head over and eat it, but we're in much better shape. The only things are, do I need to report to the office? Do I sometimes need to go back for paperwork? Not really, but if I did, I could do it. But the big thing for me is time zone. So I need to have for my own, I could live on the other side of the world, but then I'd have to work in the middle of the night. I don't want to do that. I want to work basically the same hours that I always did. So I do. So I pick an area that is north south aligned basically with, with where I work. We're really close to that. So those are factors to consider, but they're factors for you. You can work around them for the most part. Once you realize that working abroad is just permanent vacation, it's just your home and none of it's declarable to your, to your work, even though your office may try to figure out where you are and may try to shut it down. It's them just being jerks about it, right? It's not something that affects them in any way. And it's nothing that you should be disclosing, right? Maybe you want to disclose, I'm going to take a trip. <laughs> you don't need to know where I'm going. That's not something your employer needs to know. And, uh, you know, when are you coming back again? I'm, I'm going to be working. So what difference does it make? Once you realize you have all that, it just makes life really easy. We're going to go do this video in just a minute. But before, for, before we do that, please remember to like and subscribe. I know you have lots of questions about this one. I expect a lot. Get down there, ask your questions. But just remember, think about it for a second. You're on a permanent vacation. None of it is what you think. It's not, you're not moving legally. It's not a concept. 
and 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 but get down there let's have a discussion about it this is a really important topic that i think lots of people overlook just how simple the system actually is. And if you want to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee. I'll put that link there on the screen and down below, buymeacoffee.com slash scottallenmiller. And uh, of course, share on social media, tell your friends. Let's get everyone who wants to work remote, let's talk about coming to Nicaragua, because this is like the ultimate for Americans and Canadians as a remote work location. It really doesn't get much better than this in so many ways. And uh, and we're going to go do Labo Rio in central Leon, up to Ruben Dario, which is Nicaragua 14, the main highway coming west out of the city. and all the way out past the end of Barrio Sutiava. So you can just see that walk down that whole way. We're gonna head off there now, enjoy.